Hello and welcome again to another episode of Between Two Red Chairs where we get to know somebody on the Lynchburg College campus a little bit better. I'm your host, Jimmy Rue, and today our guest is Jenny Horton. Welcome, Jenny. Thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Jenny is a public services librarian for Lynchburg College, and this is her fourth year at the college. So tell us what you do, Jenny. Well, in the library, I work at the reference desk. I help students and faculty find things that they need for class assignments. Um, I work individually with students. I coordinate our instruction, which is when uh, librarians meet with classes, and a little bit of everything, I guess. What's your favorite part of the job? Connecting people with what they need to find, or empowering them in some way to be able to find what they need in the future without ha always having to ask. What's the most difficult part of your job? I would say, um, well, occasionally there's a question that I don't immediately know how to help the person, and that's a little, that's not hard, it's just a little frustrating. I don't know that there's anything that's hard. Mm -hmm. That's good. Things have changed with regard to research in the library. Uh, can you give us some insight onto how things have changed? Well, a lot of things are available digitally now, and uh, while a lot of things are, not everything is. Sometimes people think that everything's available online. Um, also, some people, even including younger people, still prefer uh, physical copies of books and journals and things like that. And they're a little bit, I don't know if they're afraid or if they just don't, they aren't comfortable with the format. Okay. So some things in the library have been moved around and changed. Can you tell us a little bit about what the audience should know about those changes? Okay, well, in order to accommodate the new teaching and learning center in the library, we moved our media collection, which is our DVDs and CDs. We moved them a little more toward the front of the library just because I think that's a better location. Well, we all agreed on that. And then we... Um, we were able to create some more group spaces and study space for students because they had asked for that in interviews and on surveys when we gave those out. That sounds like a good change then. Yes. How will you know if this will be successful or not, the change? I think we'll do another survey and ask them what they think. Um, we're not completely done with all we'd like to do mm -hmm. in the library. We have some, some more changes coming if, if we can get funding. Well, that sounds like a very good idea to get the students' participation in, in the decision making. Yeah. Well, it's for them. They're mm -hmm. the ones who use it. So we yeah. did um, a couple of focus groups last semester along with the survey, and that's how we, that's how we decided what needed to be done ultimately. Okay. So where were you before Lynchburg College? I lived in Bristol, Virginia, and I worked at King College, which is now King University. Oh, they changed their name. They did. Oh, and we're going through a discussion <laughs> on name changes. What ideas do you have for the name change for Lynchburg College? Uh, I don't really think I have enough information to discuss mm -hmm. that at this point. Okay. How did it work at King's College University? Well, they changed it after I left, so I wasn't really involved in the oh, process. Okay. Another question we like to ask people is, if you were president for the day, what would you do? What would you do if you were president? President of the United States? President of the United States. Well, a day isn't nearly long enough to accomplish much, mm -hmm. right? And I think this could be a very politically charged question, and I'm afraid a little bit to answer it. No problem. What if you were just president of the Lynchburg College? That would be easier. Okay. I think uh, I would build a new library. Oh, yeah? Wouldn't it be great to have a new library with technology and all the seating and all the student things that we that we want. That would be nice. What uh, which specifically would you add? What like what new technology? Um, well, some maybe a, some smart boards or some. Uh, we definitely need more study rooms. Mm -hmm. Students ask students ask all the time about more study space. Um, I think just more power, because everybody wants to charge everything all the time. Uh -huh. A charging station. Well, more than just one. I mean, mm -hmm. a, a lot of exterior walls in the library don't have power at all. And so there are a lot of places that could be great study spaces, but they don't have any way to plug up a laptop. Wow, that would be good. Because you see a lot of times people just anywhere they can plugging in. Right. So that would be a good idea. 
Maybe we should look into that. That's not technology per se, but that's what people want mostly. Is there like a suggestion box in the library? There is. And have you put that suggestion in there? <laughs> well, I haven't, no. <laughs> <laughs> but you could. I could. I will do that after this, <laughs> after this interview. So what do you think about uh, free-range chicken? Do you think they're really happier with, you know, just running around? <laughs> I don't have any idea. No? Chickens have very small brains, so I'm not sure they know what they're they happy wouldn't even know. Okay. What was your favorite toy as a, as a kid? Mm. I don't know. I had a little. Um, I had a little piano. I liked to play a lot as mm -hmm. a kid. Do you still play piano? I do play piano a little. Oh. How well do you play? Uh, on a scale of one. On to a ten. scale of one to ten. <laughs> Probably six and a half. Six and a half. That's pretty good. Yeah. When's the last time you played, and what did you play? I played a couple of days ago. I just played a piece of sheet music at home. Okay. Would you rather, have you ever played the game Would You Rather? Mm-hmm. Okay. Would you rather a shower or a bath? A shower. And do you sing in the shower? Sometimes. When's the last time you sang, and what did you sing? Mm -hmm. I probably sang in the shower yesterday. And it was um, thrift store. <laughs> thrift store. <laughs> the song thrift store. Is that the name of it? I, I think I know what you're talking okay. about. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna pop some tags. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Did you sing the uh, adulterated version or the revised version? The revised version. Okay. Just want to make sure. Was there anyone there to hear your singing? I don't think so. No. Okay. There were people in the house, but no one mentioned hearing okay. it. How would people rate your singing? <laughs> on a scale of one to ten. On a scale of one to ten. Probably eight or nine. Eight or nine? Yeah. Wow, that's very impressive. Yeah. How would you rate yourself? Seven. So why would you rate yourself lower than the people listening I to you? I don't know. You don't know? Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> There's always room for improvement. So do you have sneakers? Yes. Sneakers? Okay. The uh, tie? Yes. So do you tie them and untie them every time you put the sneakers on? Yes. And why is that? Well, because they don't feel right if you put your foot back in them without okay. retying them. Have you ever tried just slipping them off, slipping them on and slipping them off? I have, but it just doesn't work very doesn't well. doesn't feel right. Okay. Yeah. Is there anything you'd like to leave the audience with before this interview ends? I can't think of anything. Thank you very much for being on the show, Jenny. We really appreciate your time and we appreciate your input as public services librarian. This is another edition of Between Two Red Chairs. Thanks for joining us. We hope to see you next time. <laughs>